Hey everyone, thanks for checking out the video. So I'm picking up on a subject um, that I've seen recently with Island Sim. Um, full credit to him for this video. He released some content on the 12th of August which shows the difference between TAA and DLAA. Um, and I wanted to give it a go myself and to be honest with what I found it was night and day, it really was. Um, so just taking that in now, uh, we're currently on TAA. Now I've been a TAA fanboy um, ever since Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 came out. It's all I've used. I've got a good system with the RTX 5090. I've got the latest i9 um, processor and, and 128 gig of RAM, so I don't have any performance issues. But when I looked and tried this trick, frames, are, there were no different. They were exactly the same. But if you look at the skyline at Birmingham right now, just check out the tops of the buildings, the air, easy jet aircraft there, you've got the tree line, you've got the radar spinning and the tree line. If I just now go in and change to DLAA, and then what happens? Well, quite a lot. So if you look now at all the light stands, you can now see across here there's more detail across here and you've got the light stands across here there's a lot more detail being given into the scene um, which looks completely different and uh, one of the things he did say within his video was you will see a little bit more ghosting on the DLAA uh, in terms of your altitude and things but as he's quite rightly said you shouldn't be staring at it you know it's a quick scan and look back up um, so I don't think that would be a problem. What I do want to go and do now is go onto the camera and go and zoom around and, and let's just try the differences at a different altitudes looking down to see if there's much difference or not um, and then you can make up your own minds but, but for me the detail I can see here all across these lights from here um, all, all of here is completely night and day compared to, and all the way around here, these weren't here before. In fact, before we go anywhere else, let's just go back to TAA and have a look. So back on TAA, those light stands are still here, but the rest have gone. Skyline's completely different there. Um, looks completely different. Okay, so let's just jump into um, the drone camera and let's go to some different levels and see what it looks like. Okay, so I've come up a, a couple of hundred feet and just looking across there, I can just about make out some potential power lines there by the look of it. looks a bit blurry, looks okay. Um, I can definitely see, I think there's power lines. Um, okay, let's just switch now into a DLAA and let's have a look, see if it looks any different. Well, I tell you what I can see, those power lines look a lot more um, prominent the light stands are back it just seems to be in TAA it doesn't it's not able to render the whole scene whereas on this it absolutely is that looks completely different to me um, make up your own mind I think for me being honest I don't spend that much time looking out the window at lower levels but it was pretty impressive to see the difference um, I don't see any performance issues whatsoever with the sim um, I'll put a link anyway in the video to um, Island Sims video, um, giving him full credit here, but yeah, that looks really good, those power lines across there. I don't know if I can spot anything else majorly different. Let's just come across. Right, if we stop here, so there's there's definitely power lines, there's definitely some water, there's definitely a lot of vehicles travelling down the M42 and down the A46. 
sorry, A45. Um, oh, that, that there's the A45, that's the M42 there. Right, so let's just switch it back to TAA. Power lines are sort of there, but they're not. Look, they're blended in. They're not prominent. The detail has really dropped. The vehicles, they don't seem as many. It might just be me, my imagination. I'm sure there were more vehicles, and the ground looks a little bit more less defined. I'm going to switch it straight back whilst that's in mind. Then power lines definitely are more prominent. You can see the cables in between, which you couldn't see before. There's definitely, definitely, definitely more vehicles there. Um, so yeah, I'd say just switching to AA to DAA definitely renders more detail within the scene. Um, like I say, I'll put a link to his video um, and watch it for yourself and come up with your own. But I just thought. In case you hadn't seen his video, it was absolutely worth sharing and, uh, and, and showing it from my perspective. Right, good to speak and uh, I wouldn't mind seeing your comments on this and uh, we'll catch you soon. Take care. See you later. Bye.